Everybody has an opinion about um, the age-old question in quilting, wash, pre-wash, or don't pre-wash? And I am a dyed-in-the-wool pre-washer. I believe that I want to know everything that my fabric's going to do when it's laundered before I use it in a quilt. And um, if I just pull it off the bolt and use it that way, I don't know if it's going to shrink, if it's going to run, if it's going to wrinkle a lot, any of those things. And I want to know my fabric before I use it, so I pre-wash. Well, one of the reasons a lot of us don't like to pre-wash is because it often distorts the fabric. And we've got this yardage of fabric then that we have to deal with that is no longer folding selvage to selvage. And so we're not quite sure what to do about that. So this came out of the dryer. And um, when I wash and dry, I wash like I would wash my finished quilt, which for me is using the product Synthropol. Um, and then I throw it in the dryer till it's almost dry. Pull it out, iron it dry the rest of the way, and then use it. If I'm not going to use it right away, then I let it dry a little bit longer, but not much. Let it air dry the rest of the way, fold it up, and put it on the shelf and use it whenever I want to use it. But So here we have this piece of fabric. It's a yard and a half. And I'm going to want to cut some strips off of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold it together, selvage to selvage. Now, if you don't know what the selvage is, that is this printed portion here. One of the things that happens often, but not always, in this, the laundering process is that the selvage will pucker up. Didn't happen with this one. But one of the things that you will notice is that this is not straight, and the selvage rarely is. So even if you do fold selvage to selvage, and your, and your fabric will let you do that, meaning that when I fold that yardage in half, I can line up that selvage. So even if I can, it doesn't necessarily still mean that it's true to the grain because the selvage can become quite warped. I'm going to do something that a lot of people don't often do. If I were to rip this selvage off, it would have a truer edge to it. But then I'd have to go back and iron it again too. So instead what I do is I come in and I pull that selvage really hard. And I make sure that there's no... Um, shrunkenness in that. And that helps me align it a little bit better. Now, this happens to be a really nice piece of fabric. Sometimes when you fold your fabric selvage to selvage, you'll end up in a rump rumple along your folded edge. But I don't have one, which is very nice. And I've got a pretty true edge, so this is not going to be that hard to square up. But that is the first thing I need to do. I need to square up my edge before I can cut my strips. And I'm going to square it up not against the selvage, but I'm going to square it up against the fold. The fold has now become my true. The selvage is not my true. The fold is my true once I find that. It's nice if you have a big table, but it doesn't always happen that you do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my fold up on any of the lines on my mat. And this is really the only time I ever use the lines on my mat, because otherwise I'm using the lines on my ruler. And once I've done that, I am then going to use my ruler and line my ruler up on my fold. And that's why I use this big square ruler rather than the long ruler. I want to make sure that I have both sides of the fabric where I'm cutting off past the one mark, and I'm going to cut. And because I know I have a nick in my blade, I'm going to cut a second time. I now know I'm true because this and this are forming a perfect 45 degree angle. And I'm going to come up here, line up with my one inch up there, line up with my fabric down here, and cut the rest of the way. Now I'm ready to start cutting whatever strips I need to cut. I have two options here because I want to measure off my ruler. I can lift up the fabric and move it, or I can simply turn it around. Now this is because I'm right-handed. So now I'm going to be using my ruler to cut my strips rather than the mat. It doesn't really matter at this point where that fabric is on the mat. 
and I'm going to cut a two and a half inch strip. So I'm going to line the two and a half inch line up with my fabric. And I'm going to hold this ruler with my hands up, not my hand down. My hand is up. And it's the tips of my finger that are on that ruler and pressure from my upper body holding that down. If I hold it with a flat hand and I put pressure on it, then it moves. So never hold your ruler with a flat hand. Always hold your ruler with a cupped hand. Always make sure that all of your fingers are at least a half inch away from the edge and cut. I'm going to do it a second time only because I know I have that nick. Now I'm going to fold a little bit of that fabric away just so I can easily line this ruler up. I could have switched to a long ruler at this point, but I've got my square ruler out right now, so I'm just going to use that. And I cut. Fold that over and cut my next strip. That's how easy it is to true up the edges of a piece of fabric and begin cutting. Use your mat in the beginning to cut your first true line, and then use your ruler from then on to do all of your measuring.